Welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I have my um, my Linux thing. So firstly, I have this desktop background. Um, it's the core end screen. It's all the information I'm going to give you. It's the core end screen. It's it, no, it's it's um it's a it's a version of the core end screen, but where the um, pink is replaced with red. Okay. <clears throat> um. I also have this. Compiz. I don't have Compiz because Compiz actually isn't supported by GNOME 3. Speaking of GNOME 3, that's the desktop environment I'm using. GNOME 3. Okay, um, I also have a few GNOME extensions enabled. So here are the ones I have enabled. Applications menu, that's this. Arc menu, that's this. Um, auto move windows, I don't have enabled actually. Dash to dock is this. Ding is um, this. This. <clears throat> Game mode, I don't know if it actually does anything. I don't know what that one does. I don't know what that one does. I do know what this one does. I really want to turn it off. Night theme switcher. That's, um, what? Okay. Ignore that. Pay Mac updates indicator. I think that's just. That's like when it, it like gives me like a message at the top of my screen saying an update is available for a given program. <clears throat> Places indicator, that's this. Removable drive menu, that's somewhere here. Um, it's here actually. <clears throat> User themes is what allowed me to make to do this. Window navigator, I I actually forgot what that one does. And workspace indicator is this. And comp is window effect is what is th this theme. It's it's wobbly windows. So I don't actually have compass. I tried compass, but I didn't realize that whenever I actually tried to run compass, it just restarted my entire computer. It took me a while to realize that it doesn't actually support GNOME. So I installed this, which kind of is similar to compass, but isn't compass itself. <clears throat> the thing is, this is just one effect from Compass. It's not Compass itself. So this is my overall um, situation. So I have the Arc menu in the upper left. Applications next to it. Places next to it. And then the Open Program next to it. In my indicator, my desktop indicator... My tray icons. What is that? Okay, it's it's the update indicator. I forgot to actually mention that's the update indicator. Movable drive menu and my um, basic information about my system. Speaking of basic information about my system, here's some more basic information about my system. There you go. I use Manjaro Linux. That, I don't know what that host means. Kernel, I use that version of the kernel. That's how much I've been on this computer open for nine minutes. <clears throat> I have 1500 packages installed. I'm using um, Z ZSH 5.8 as my terminal. I used, I have two 1920 by 1080p monitors. I use the GNOME desktop environment. I use the GNOME. I use the Wayland Window Manager, which uses GNOME. I use the GNOME Terminal Server as my terminal. My, I use a Ryzen three CPU, and some weird AMD um, GPU. <clears throat> I'm currently using two of my sixteen gigabytes of memory. 
I'm currently using 24 of the 31 gigabytes on my disk. And uh, and the language I use is is American English using the UTF-8 um using the UTF-8 um what's the word I'm looking for? Um <clears throat> UTF-8 um format, I guess. And this is just a bunch of colors just for example. So here are a few things, here are a few cool things I recommend. For example, um like one second. What was I gonna do? Um, <clears throat> so basically, what this command does, rev, it reverses any file. It, it, so it reverses the text of console app one dot sln, or you can type in rev and then nothing, and then you can type in hello. This is a video on the. YouTube channel exclamation mark and it reverses it another cool command is this one fortune that's your fortune fortune lolcat that fortune is lolcatted um we also have this command Yeah, and I think I'm permanently stuck in this. That's great. But one last thing we have is this. I forgot what command I was going to put. I seriously forgot what command I was going to put here. It is a command, but I don't remember which command. Oh, this one, okay. That's the steam train. And the steam tra and the my, my mouse is following the steam train to the across to the end of the screen. And now I'm gonna go back and click the stop recording, but on this other